Hardcore Games Live, and we are playing Betrayal Legacy! Finally! <laughs> From Avalon Hill and designed by Rob Davio. In this game, we're going to be different generations of a family exploring an old creepy house, and someone will be a traitor over and over and over again. Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you head over to twitch.tv slash hardcore games, leave out the I, where we will interact with you live, just like you'll see us interacting with people live today. Mm -hmm. So today is the gauntlet. Yes. We're gonna try yeah. and throw down the gauntlet and play as many <laughs> sessions of Betrayal Legacy as possible. Yeah. Um, now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just probably just click to the next one, click to the next one. Yeah. If you're here live with us in Twitch, then Happy you get to leave, live it out, <laughs> live it out with us live and in person. Yep. Surprise stream, hey! Yeah. Uh, so it goes without saying, there will be spoilers for the game. Legacy games uh, tend to have spoilers in them, so if you haven't played the game yet and intend to, just be warned, there may be spoilers. I managed to stay unspoiled for the time we've had this. Yes, me too. Okay. I'm just checking. I don't know anything except for what I read out of the rulebook. Nothing, uh, nothing tra -la -la. Which I read twice. We still might get stuff wrong, <laughs> but the good news is Rob Davio says in the rule book that that's okay. It's not a big deal. But, but if people you, in the comments don't seem to agree with that. If you think it is a big deal, <laughs> you go ahead and write down in the comments or in the chat what we got wrong, and we will take that into consideration next time. Mm -hmm. The important thing is we're here and we had fun. Yeah. yeah. That's what I always say in the comments on YouTube. <laughs> So, um, if you've played Betrayal at the House on the Hill, Betrayal at House on Hill, or however it goes. Right. <laughs> I don't know what the Betrayal of our Baldur's Gate. Right. Mm -hmm. This game is similar, except it adds a legacy element. If you're not familiar with the concept of a legacy game, it means that we're going to play the game over and over, and every time it's going to change a little bit, it's going to be an evolving story. Mm. So this one's evolving story is that we're a family who's in a house. It's not a new house. And in the first session, it's 1666. Notice there's a 666 in that. Yeah, well, that could be important. Uh, each of us have chosen a character, and the rules state that we should introduce ourselves. So I'll go first. I'm playing this little wee lass right here. She got a teddy bear. Now we can play different ones each time. This is what she looks like. Mm -hmm. Her name is Anna, and she's six years old. All right, I am. This little girl here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good enough. Okay. And her name is Sarah Bell, and she is 12. Oh, we're sisters. Oh. Maybe. Sister, sister. I'm the evil twin. Uh oh. I'm playing this little guy with a torch. <gasps> He likes to burn things. Oh gosh! No! <laughs> what? Why? Traitor! Can't can he just like be the one to carry the light? His name is Judas, and he's 15 years old. Oh goodness! Yeah. That right. Sounds bad. Already. And I'm playing Ben. I'm 53 years old, and I've made some very bad life choices. <laughs> and I have three kids. Yeah. Yeah. One of which is a pyromaniac. Yeah. <laughs> and an evil and one with a bear. And one's an evil one, yeah. I'm, I'm not evil. Be... Come play with us, Danny. <laughs> I seem to be the one with the reason around here. I like to burn things. So we no evil, have no burning. We've already gone through several steps of the setup, but we've left some not done so that we you guys could follow along with us live. Yep. Um, so we've already gotten through step four, which is selecting our people. We've given them names and ages. We've introduced ourselves, and now we need to involve what's called the legacy deck. So right here, I have the legacy deck. Do, do, do. This is the next step in our setup. Um, now before we get into the legacy deck. Um, I just want to go over a few things about the rules for this game. Um, if you've played Betrayal, if you played Betrayal of House on the Hill or Betrayal of Baldur's Gate, you're going to be very familiar with the majority of what's happening here. Um, on your turn, you get to move your speed. Mm -hmm. You can interrupt that move with actions, but you can't take the same action more than once. Some of the actions you can take are listed on your family card. You have four different stats, knowledge and sanity, which are mental, might and speed, which are physical. Um, there's some other new things that are in the game. For example, there's a word bury. That means just put this at the bottom of a stack. Take it from the top and move it to the bottom. Um, peel means put it back at your starting value. Um, critical means it's in the red spot, which is right above the skull. If you get to the skull, you die. Um, there's also now an outdoor area. So we have the front steps here, the ground floor, the basement, and the upper floor. 
the outdoor is a new area that was not in the game before. Um, the tiles are specific to the floor and also the cards are specific to the floor now. So we have upper or ground or outside for the different cards. So um, for example, this event right here can only happen to you if you're outside. Um, the tiles might have other new features that are not on cards in the past. Obviously we're gonna be adding a lot more stuff to it. Um, you can also use items now. In the past, you, this didn't really exist, but now whenever you use an item that's in your play area, you just turn it to the side to note that you've used it. And then at the beginning of your next turn, you will flip it back 90 degrees. We, we wouldn't call that like tapping or anything like that. We would call it rotating 90 degrees right. or and then you, rotating back yeah. 90 degrees. Yeah. Some people say active, activating the ability. Mm -hmm. yeah. and they call it just using in this yeah. game. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's also in this game something called an heirloom. Um, so we have some stickers. Every time you get an item, you can decide, uh, I think it's once per game, uh, to make that your family heirloom. You must decide right when you draw the card that you're going to do so. And if you do, you're going to put your family's sticker on that card. And it's going to give you a boon in the future whenever you encounter that, encounter Is that it item. one for all four of us or one per each different person? I think it's per person. For all different families? Yeah. Okay. I'm the blue, oh, I'm the purple family. She's the blue family. You're the red family. Yeah, so that's the red family. Yeah, or the brassets. Or the Iscariots. <laughs> Um, and the rest of it we'll kind of go through as we get to it. I don't think I need to like go through every single thing we've played this game before. Yeah, once per game when you draw an item card, you can put it your you can make it your heirloom. I think you only have like eight stickers though, so I have to be selective. Yeah. But if you find an item that like oh I really love this item, it really works with what I'm doing. You must decide right then and there when you draw it if you're gonna make it your heirloom yeah. or not. Gotcha. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed on. If you guys have questions, put them in the chat. If you guys have questions at the table, always, always just Put them ask. in the chat. <laughs> yeah, if you don't put it in the chat, I won't be able to answer no. it. Put it in the chat. Okay, so this basically just says, don't look at these cards, don't shuffle this deck. That's pretty typical for a legacy game. We've played them before, so we're familiar with that. We don't have omens. I wanna point that out. Events and items, but no omens. Yeah. If you've played the game before, you are probably wondering, how does a haunt start yeah. if you don't have any omens? Where's haunt? We don't know yet. We'll figure that out. Oh. So you should have read the rules and selected your families, but not chosen the last name. Ah. And, and it's not a last name. It's all one. Sarah Bell. One big, long name. See? Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Bell. We've punched out and shuffled all the tiles. We've shuffled the decks. We've completed steps one to through seven of setup, and we've had now a player who's gonna read this out loud. So I'm gonna flip this over. Prologue. In the remote countryside of the New World, the homestead sits atop a hill. The family that lived here died of a pox. Father, mother, son, daughter. Though the girl's body was never found. Carried off by wolves, some say. There are also stories about the family finding a chalice while building the house. A chalice sounds valuable. Maybe there are treasures here still. You're not the only one with this idea. Other families have come exploring as well. You all claim you've come to honor the dead, but as you crowd together upstairs, the wary glances make it plain. No one is fooled, especially not this five-year-old, or was I six? Yeah, I was gonna say, they sent their kids to do the job. Well, <laughs> this kid also is kind of evil, so, you know. All, right. um, all players, place, all players place their figures on the upper landing. Oh, oh we already made it upstairs. Whoever is reading this will take the first turn. Oh, there you go. That's funny. It told us earlier to select the first player at random. And now it's telling us whoever reads this. Throwing us for a twist. <laughs> Twists already. <laughs> Random as anything. You randomly read the... Pause. Start play. When the first omen tile is discovered, turn this card over and read it out loud. Remember, there are no omen cards yet. You haven't missed anything. <laughs> I like that. I like that. They remind you. <laughs> no Just omens don't yet. freak out. <laughs> so one thing that's a little bit different in this game, as you put tiles in the house, it does ask you to put them in the most logical way. So in the past games, you could forcefully put the tiles so that doors don't connect and stuff like that. 
this game wants you to place them in the most logical way to connect the most doors together. Gotcha. So just note that. Right. Um, and there's some other little rules around that, but we don't need to go through them right now. You're the All first right. player. So some of the actions that you can do on your turn, um, actions are always going to be in all uppercase. So you'll notice on your board, the five uppercase words, those are actions you can take. You'll also have cards. When you see upper, all uppercase word, that's an action you can take. Gotcha. Um, so just know that. And like, for example, if I did an attack, I can only do one attack. If I did a give, I can only do one give. So it's one, uh, one per word. So I'm going to start moving. My movement is four. I will move this way. So here we have some tiles and we're looking for one that says upper floor. If this did not say upper floor, we would bury this and grab the next one. Uh, what's this, shuffled? Yeah. Just curious. Should I shuffle it some more? No, no, no. I'm just curious how they present it. Oh, they asked us to shuffle it. Okay. We shuffled it, didn't we? Shuffle some more. If no one knows the order, it's shuffled. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if it was like in a very specific order of coming out of the tile thing. Oh, like no kind of box. That's what I was curious. Yeah. All right, well, now that, here's a good example. <laughs> this tile does not match where I am. It says outside, so I'm going to need to bury that. And I'm going to go here to the upper floor. It's the unfinished room. <laughs> well, all right. Now, this uh, tile does have a symbol in it. If it had multiple symbols, we would resolve them left to right. So in this case, that is an item. So I need to check and see if my item card here says upper floor, which it does. If it didn't, I would bury it and grab the next. You're also allowed to look in the deck and see what the next few coming up are, but you're not allowed to flip them over. Oh, we're, we're just getting started, Rex. Hey, the Rex. first turn of the game. I'm first gonna turn, introduce yeah. ourselves. I've only That's just it. started. We've yes. only just begun. <laughs> but now okay. do you realize it is a, a legacy game, yeah. so... Yeah, there will be spoilers. spoilers ahead. Lots of spoilers. Hey! hey. hey. Woo -hoo. Thank you for that sub. Thank you for that sub, Rex. Woo. Two months in a row. We heart you. Thank you very much. Okay, so my item. Spectacles. Seeing the forbidden comes at a cost. You may lose one sanity to re-roll a knowledge roll you just made. The second result stands. So this is an item. I can select right now to make this my family heirloom if I want to. It's the first card in the game. It seems a little preemptive to yeah. me. Mm. Um, for some reason I think even I play there is a lot of options on how it ends. That's true. Oh. <laughs> the game can go in a whole bunch of different ways. So, so this is just an item that I'm going to have. I can do that on my turn. I can lose a sanity to reroll on knowledge roll, which is good because I have good sanity. Okay. So uh, when you move on to a space that has one of these symbols and draw a card, it stops your movement. You cannot continue moving after that, just like in the base game. Um, I could still do some action, so for example, I could use that card. Oh! Hey! Woo! Woo! Hey, Board Game yes. Gumbo! Board Game Thanks Gumbo. for that sub! Two Where months in a row! Woo! Thanks for that Aye. sub! So, oh, DJ, Rex has played the non legacy version. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Non, non legacy is good stuff, too. Um, I don't want to do this action because I can't. I'm not making a knowledge roll and I don't want to do any of these other actions, so I'm going to pass the turn uh, to Sarah Bell. What an evil Sarah kid. Bell is going. Somebody's walking around going, where's my, where's my, my ass? Ass? <laughs> No, these were left from the <laughs> previous that's what you showed up to do. No, I'm just finding your legs and joking the kids are oh. <laughs> Right, right? Well, I am evil. <laughs> Yeah, DJ played, uh, oh, very, played Ronald. I think you left him downstairs. Go over about the stairs. I gotta, I gotta watch the VOD on that, BJ, and see how you did. Yeah. I wasn't able to tune in live. I started to upload, but our upload was slow. So I think I'm gonna do it. So after I'm upstairs, this. and that's not an upstairs. So like I Which way are you going? So. Um, I'm going to go up. All right. So this one's basement. So we'll bury that outside, ground floor, upper floor. Here you go. All right. I'm going to the common room. Yeah, it's not uploaded on YouTube just yet. Common room. The common room. I now I'll point out to you something that's on that tile. You'll notice this Ooh, symbol this. right here, this shape. Ooh. Um, that is only used in certain haunts, so you can oh, ignore that unless something specifically points to it. All right, then. 
So that one has an event on it. In the common room. This event says outside, so you need to bury that and go for another. Nope, basement outside, not there. Next, outside, no. Catch me outside. Outside, no. Basement, no. Ah, here we go, upper floor. Found one. And it says, a note. Close up can't works, by the way. If you okay. want to that way it's a little bright. Oh, I can adjust stuff like that. A little bright there. Okay. Yes. You can just read it yeah. right here. It says, if your family crest is on this card, Gain one knowledge and bury this card. Otherwise, read the text below to yourself. Not out loud. Not out loud. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you paused it and read it. I don't know. <laughs> so now you got to keep oh, a secret no. from us. How good are you? Secrets. But now, the, okay, the little, the words that says not out loud, but... Now it's telling me like I put a family crest on this car. Okay, they're over there in the box. There's some stickers. Because okay. it says here in the little black word text underneath it says place your family crest on this car. Okay. Get all the stickers. Oh dear. Get all the stickers. You're blue. I am blue. Grab you a crest. My family crest the owls. So you read what it said, and then it told you to put your crest on there? Oh, I, I just, I read the thing that says place your family crest on the card. Now I read what's on the card. It says place wow. it in there. Weird order. And, and, and evolve. And evolve. <laughs> I'll come back. Let's see it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now evolve. Ooh. Do we continue, or...? Yeah, it... I don't know what more I should read on here to y'all. The the words in black, maybe? Yeah. Well, okay. I don't like sticker ID in games, so I cannot use the thing later. Um, some games prepare for that correctly. Well, this is a legacy game, so yeah, that's the whole idea of it. And honestly, they say at the end of these games, yeah, you can play this again, but we I don't know what to do with this card now. Whatever it says. It just says, when the last space on this press is on, Destroy this card. Tell no one what was on it. But I'm the first one, so now do I just put it back in the... I don't know. Well, it has to say. It says what to do. It's been very clear. No. Somebody's got to read it then, if you can't figure it out. That I mean, I'm reading you everything but what is like the little blue text that's like what I'm supposed to... It says, otherwise read the text below to yourself, not out loud. Mm -hmm. Place your family crest on this card, and then I read the little thing that says to read, and then it I says... I don't think you would return it to the thing because there's a chance that one of us would yeah. pick it up again. So you probably hold on to it till the end of the game, and then it goes back in the, in the thing later. It just says, when the last base has a crest on it, destroy this card. Tell no one what was on it. Well... Okay, what is it? An event card? Uh, or, 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 or it may want the three of us to know something and the fourth one not to, so... Mm -hmm. Fair. It, according to this book, it will always tell you what to do with Wait, cards. It says, if your family crest is on this card, gain one knowledge and bury this card. So I just need to bury it back under. Oh, right? yeah. Like, so, so I put my crest it on it. And it told me, place your family crest on this card. So now I place it now, back in. Yeah. Yeah. If it ever comes That's back. Mayor, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so. So it did say what to do. It just, it was <laughs> in a different order. Okay, so bury the card. It was in a different order. I better read it just one more time, just just in case. I was just okay. Like, okay. Do you want to do okay. any more actions, or you're done? No, I do not. Okay. Can other people play? <laughs> no, go go I ahead. Uh, the card said nobody else can play. What was your name again? Boba Fett. <laughs> I am Boba Fett. Now I am Judas. Oh yes, Judas. Go ahead. Judas the loyal. So you are standing on a set of stairs. These stairs lead to here, and there's yeah, also stairs going down here. Which one. Lead to the basement. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. It's on top. I'm just curious. Outside. Ooh, I want to go outside. Two, three, but I can't make it all the way and explore. So I'm just going to go here. So, outside, 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 basement, outside, basement, outside ground floor. Right here. The hearth? You might like that? Sure. The hearth. I say hearth. But you should do it this way so it doesn't keep building that way. Got to make it make sense. Spatially. Okay. An event. 
You are the traitor? What does that mean? <laughs> um, tricks, tricks. All right. Secret passage. Oh, good. We'll need stickers again. This, yeah, we this low wall. Is it hollow here? Is there something behind it? If there is a secret passage symbol on this tile, bury this card and draw the top item card. Otherwise, keep reading. There's not. Place a secret passage sticker on this tile. Uh, then check a box below. Be careful not to cover any of the symbols or runestones. If there is another discovered secret passage, you may use the secret passage immediately. Even if you have no moves left, when the last box is checked, destroy this card. Ooh. Hello, Sliver. Sprite and I are watching hey, the restaurant. Slivers. Hello, restaurant. Hello, you know, restaurant. Photographer. Oh, photographers. I want to play that. I uploaded I uploaded a video on my YouTube page for you uh, just today. If you want to check it out. Sure. You can go, Joe. I'm going. I got four movement. What happens to this? Barry, right? That's what it said. What does it say? Barry. No secrets on that one. Don't buy yourself legacy games. Well, but yeah, is that uh, Ryan? Dollar. But play if someone else buys. Of we course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure. It's an event. Event yeah. usually. Are put into a discard pile. Fair. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to find a secret passage card and get possibly yeah. again. So you know Slivers, event. you're not planning on playing this game? I'm going... I know you avoided Aeon's End for sure. I'm going to the basement. Oh, to the basement. Oh, so. To the basement. Oh. Those kids won't follow me down here. I'm not <laughs> Chalice. Oh yeah, that's right. We're Chalice is usually right. coming in pairs. I there. feel I've already found the Chalice. <laughs> I win. There you go. <laughs> that's it? That's what we're looking for? Yeah, that's what we're looking it's for. This is a glass one? Uh, um, I haven't been misled. Southern Craft. <laughs> Chalice. Hey, we're trying to be supportive. You can play them, but I don't want to play. So that's Pay what, to play those. Uh, two, two, two steps. It's like, it's like going to an escape room two or steps. going to a yeah, movie. Yeah, it's an upper landing. I'll go this way. Go to the ground floor, to the basement, and then whatever you want to reveal. All right, All right. so... Not this one, because that says outside. Bury it. Bury it. Area. Basement. There's secret passage. Ooh. Oh, it's just on there already. Oh. The crawl space. Nice. Can I have a look at that? Certainly. So, have we figured what to do with this little card? I don't know what those mean. I'm still looking for it, Melissa. Oh, it says bury this card and draw the top That's the card. nightmare before Halloween. If there yeah. is a secret passage symbol on this tile, oh. which there was not oh, at the Oh, there was not at the time. Oh, okay. oh, there's a huge outside on the screen. Thank you. Just noticed that. Oh, I'm Still working on oh, the buttons here. Sorry. Oh, oh, there's hand. <laughs> Giant hand! Did it turn off? Yes. Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I see what I did. So I, so Ben, so ben just went Sorry. from upstairs to the basement and then crawled in the hole. There we go. That's all. <laughs> Pretty much. He's like, I'm, he's like, I'm going in here. I'm going in here. He's probably got a bottle of liquor with him. Just sitting there in the field. Like, oh, this kid's gonna find me in here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm poking my head down there. Oh. What's going on here? Usually, event cards are buried after you read them. <laughs> I can't get away. There you bury it. Okay. Bury it. Bury it. Bury the dare card. A few you may keep. In many cases, they have space for a crest or a checkbox. You'll be told to apply the sticker. Some cards will be destroyed after a certain number of uses. Mm. Sometimes cards are ongoing. They're not buried. They put you just put them out. And is that all you get to do? No, I guess there's a, an event. Oh, yeah, an event. There's some other things that we, not, we weren't sure about. We don't know what that does yet. All right, you're not in upper or ground, so... It's the basement. So, uh, just Bury that until you find one that says basement. Find the one that says safe... Oh, here it is. Basement. He's in a safe space. 
basement. Alright, I'm in the safe space. Outside, outside, out. The other four tiles that are left in the game are all say outside. That's where I wanted to go anyway. All right, so, so you are in darkness. You have been here so long. You are so weak. You are chained down. You start working at the bindings frantically, saving, sawing away. Make a sanity roll. Okay, okay. so what is your sanity? It's four. It's so so the rules actually say for this, which is different from their base game, when you get to that, when I know exactly what that card looks like, don't read the results. Okay. Until after you roll. Oh yeah! On this, for some reason, on this screen, the thing doesn't pop up. On the other screen we were on, oh, it did pop weird. up. Oh, there it went. Oh, there it I popped up for just like one half of a oh, second. There it is. Oh, yay! Ooh, yeah. so Thanks exciting. for the sub. Eleven months. We heart you. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You are eight. very sane. Yeah, so now you read wow. the results just for that. Yes. Yes. So yes. plus, you breathe deeply, all is well again. Check one box on this card, destroy this card when you check the final box. Okay, so check off a box and then and we'll bury the card. Bury the card. Oh, snap, that already has one check, one mark on it? Yeah. Somebody else did it. Somebody the family before us. <gasps> you ever played this before? Weird. <laughs> Why <laughs> even put another box there if you were going to already put the X makes in? It Feels like somebody, somebody else before. has been in there and yeah, someone's down. been here. Okay, well, I heard from a you little can, bird you can't stay out of here. that the only places left to explore are outside. Round the outside. So, Round the outside. Are you done? I'm done, thank you. One, two, three, four is as far as I can go. All right, over to blue. One, two, three, four. Let's play patty cake. Yay. I don't want to play patty cake with you, blue family. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, what is it? It's a creek. Bon, creek, creek. I found the creek. So this uh, creek has a word in all caps on it, which is drink. That is an action you can take while you're on this tile. If you drink, you're going to make a speed roll, and then you'll check to see what happens to you. Well, but I did find an item laying by the creek. Yep, so that says upper... Wait, so you can do that or you must do that? You may. Oh, you may. Ooh. What you find in the creek? I found Paul's claw hammer. Oh. Do you want to put your... Um, oh, it doesn't have an heirloom stick on it. Okay. So, just, so it's Paul's. Tell us about it. It's practical and efficient, just like most hammers. If I attack with it, I can target anyone on my tile, and I roll an additional die on my attack. If the result is a zero, it breaks the hammer completely. Great. So did you want to drink at the creek? Drink at the creek? Yeah. You can um, either lose a speed, you can gain a speed, lose a might, or lose all moves. Yeah, let's drink it. So you're going to make a speed check. So my speed is four. Come on, roll like Jojen and... Super speedy. Super speedy? Bad. That's five. a five. Okay. You weren't thirsty. Lose all moves. Oh, so you don't want to be speedy. You want to be oh, slow. Op oh, opposite. Okay. But not too slow. Not too slow. You want exactly a one or a two. Wow. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's something. Okay. I wasn't thirsty. Ben? That's you. Yes. So, I don't read the results. There's, no, so I can't, there's nowhere else to go down here, right? <laughs> nope. All the other tiles say outside. But you can crawl to the secret passage. I go to the secret passage. Yeah, so you can go to the uh, you go one, two, three, and you can go out. Yeah. And the ether somewhere. It's all the hole. Yay, the hanging tree. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. The hanging tree has an omen shape on it. Oh, no! What have you right. done? When the first omen tile is discovered, turn this card over and read it out loud. Oh man. Oh man. 1666, the chalice. Turn to entry 102 in the bleak journal. It's the third one down there. Let me, what page do you journal. say? 102. Don't read anything else except that. One. Is it the what, page number? It's not a page number. Is it 102? Yeah. 
Nothing in this house seems right. What would the chalice be doing here by the tree? As for that family, how is it they died of it, the pox when no one else even took sick? None of it makes sense, unless someone here is consorting with dark powers. That's it, isn't it? One of us killed the family and lured the rest of us here. <gasps> One of us is a witch. One of us killed the family and lured the others here. Did y'all hear that? Crazy. Mm -hmm. Bye, BJ. Bye, BJ. There's a game day next Saturday. I guess the swimming will go. Oh, okay. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh, well, we could. It's, yeah. it's an option. All right, already you can feel a foul spell at work, draining your sanity away. The player who found the hanging tree draws the top card of the legacy deck, the Chalice, and gives it its true name, the Chalice of Insanity. They are now carrying it. This, this. Yeah, take that. This should say the Chalice and a blank, right? Yeah. Of Insanity. So you're going to fill that in. Mm -hmm. So it tells you what's right. <laughs> in this case. <laughs> sure. Then draw the next car from the legacy deck and read what it says on the other side in order to set up the <laughs> haunt. Okay. <laughs> Joey insane. It's a chalice of in right now. Why Wanna try am another pen? Not a witch. They <laughs> put this nose on me. <laughs> Burn her. Is, it, is it better? There it goes. <laughs> Occasionally. Occasionally better. He's feeling in. That was evil. Yeah. Uh, maniac. Oh yeah. I see Maniac's that. gonna be really loud though. <laughs> so tell us what it says, Jeff. It's a sacred temple carved of dark wood, the cup of a carpenter. They would tell you the wood. <laughs> so that's grail. an action you can take. A yeah. drink action. Yeah. <gasps> the holy grail. You lose one time when you roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on your mm -hmm. tile. Okay, so that, that's that's tough. It's that, an arm workout. One of us is a witch, but who is it? Draw the next five cards and turn them face up. Destroy any that do not match the current player count. No. Oh. Five players. Four players or five. Three or four or five. Okay, these are the cards. So this one is gonna get destroyed. I have a stack over here of destroyed things. Oh my gosh, the first time my character dies. <laughs> oh wait, it says if the haunt hasn't started, make a haunt roll now. We haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. Um, we don't know, we don't know what, uh, what to do yet. Yeah, we don't know what that Unfortunately, is. Unfortunately, <laughs> the, the rules for the yeah, haunts do, are different every single haunt. Yeah, I mean, we don't right. know what the number, yeah. the trigger number is. All right, so destroy any that do not match the current player count. For an example, in a four-player game, destroy the one card that does not say four players. Shuffle the remaining cards face down and give one to each player. I'll let you shuffle those and hand them out. Each player secretly scratches off the box below the player count. For example, in a four-player game, each player scratches off the box Four players. Oh, do not scratch off any other boxes. Do not reveal what you scratched. Each player's card will reveal one of the following. Either normal human or witch. I don't want to In be other a words, witch. this one has a secret traitor. A secret traitor. We don't know who the traitor is. How fun. It's up to me. Here's have I used to have coins in here. Oh, I have some coins in the other room. I know exactly where some are. After all players have scratched their card, turn to Haunt 1, Witch Hunt, in the Secrets of the Survival Book. These aren't very good. You can I'm see already them. having fun. <laughs> you can see through these. You can? Yeah, I don't even have to scratch it. I can see what it says. Oh, I can see what it says as well. <laughs> Let's not pay too close attention to that in the future. 
I already know what mine says. Thank you. <laughs> Four guess, players. I'll scratch it for, you know, just to do it. You want to scratch? Thanks. It doesn't even scratch. Oh, it doesn't? That's okay. As long as we can see it. Yeah, I know what mine says. That's, that's a witch talk in there. They already know what the, they can see, read through things. Uh-oh. I couldn't that's, tell that's what mine said. I don't know how you can read through things like that. That seems kind of very witchy to me. That's very yes. witchy. I am a taco. I mean, a, a witch. I mean, a human. Yes. You could pass me the Secrets of Survival book. Mine says vampire. Mine said the wolf man. I am Mine says little girl. Monster. Just little girl. Mm-hmm. So keep your card secret. One of us is a witch. The other four are normal humans. Hmm. Who could it be? Who could it be? To the next time. Okay. Right now. <laughs> we must kill the witch before the witch kills us. We know these things to be true. That the witch is draining our sanity. And that they will hide their identity until they would die. Set up. You should be set up. Everyone should have scratched their card so they know if they are a normal human or the witch. Since there is a hidden traitor in this haunt, and there aren't any monsters, you will not use the traitor or monster cards. Mm. The player to the left of the haunt revealer will take the first turn. That's me. Overview. You win when you kill the witch, or you're the last player alive. Well, that seems, uh... Like only one like, person. Oh no! Well, the three of us could kill the witch. So technically, the haunt has begun. Uh, this attack says after the haunt starts. Yeah, this is the haunt. Okay. Hidden traitor. The traitor of this haunt is not known at the start. Players may attack and steal from each other, and may choose to act as small obstacles for other players. <laughs> the witch has none of the associated abilities of being a traitor. You may not say what's on your card unless you die or the haunt allows you. Of course, you are likely lying, especially if you are the witch. If you are the witch, if you are the last player alive and you're the witch, you're going to draw a certain card from Purgatory and add it to your add your family crest to it. So the job right now is just to kill each other. So here are some (laughs) special actions. Okay. The first one is a reaction at the end of your turn. If you did not attack another player, roll a die and lose that much sanity. Your sanity is dripping away. <coughs> if you are the witch and this would kill you, reveal your card. You can skip this step and take no damage. Reaction. When you die, reveal your card to show if you're the witch or a normal human. If you're the first to die, immediately draw the top part of the legacy deck, whether you're a witch or a human. When you win, turn to a certain page in the bleak journal. Mm. So the rule book um, has some new elements in it uh, now. They have these little uh, action boxes here that kind of explain new actions that can be taken. The trader's information is always going to be in these gray boxes. Um, At the beginning of haunt, this area up here is going to be red while everyone is still at the table before the trader leaves the room or vice versa. So that's just kind of some new rules about how haunts work in this game. But for now, we just have two reactions that we have to worry about in this particular scenario. Is, is that a ghost? Because it says I can, I can um, lose one sanity to roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on your tile. There's stuff in here about ghosts, but I have never seen that shape before. Was like it was, I think that's probably what it is. You have to be a certain place to, to use this. Because this, this gives you a lot of... If you... It's four plus, you gain one might, speed, and knowledge. And then two to three, you heal a critical trait. One is like take one physical damage, gain one mental trait. And then zero is lose one from every trait. So. I have no idea what that is. I agree. Which little girl? Oh yeah, you said you've played this before. (laughs) Are these tiny little symbols in the circles or in the circles in the corners? Are those ghosts? She said the evil one. I am not the evil one. (laughs) Burn the girl. Well, it's my turn. All icons will be explained eventually. Okay. So okay. So his item that says he can something about ghosts. 
I can roll a die for each ghost on the tile. That's not, that's what I'm saying. That's the only thing that's this. I guess it doesn't do anything until you find out what a ghost. Figure is. out what a ghost is. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> there are no ghosts currently. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'll right. start drinking away. Not usable yet. There you go. Oh, All right. I'll thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna start moving. So I'll go one, two. Just running out into the wild. I need to explore. <laughs> You better find something Let's. that can counter a hammer, because none of us has, has one. <laughs> I have a hammer. If I had a hammer. If I had a hammer. No wood. Serendipity. You trip and fall face first. You look back to see a skeletal hand sticking up from the ground, holding something. You may pry the item from its hand by losing one speed to draw the top item card. I'll do it. Mm. Now, because you didn't hurt anybody are you gonna have to do that roll the yep. same thing oh. i sure am but i'm not evil and i don't want to hurt people well i mean but that's the name of the game right now have to. <laughs> that's the only problem with that williams well bucket i really like the art choice here they've like handwritten that yeah, in there have a paul's hammer too rough hewn wood nothing fancy i can drink this to heal the trade check the box and then bury it Oh, you found more water outside. What's up? <laughs> so that's it for me. My oh, turn. it's the end of my turn. Oh, you have to roll I say we kill the weakling first. Roll one die. I have to lose one sanity. I mean, there's no- nothing that says who's a witch or anything, so it's really just kill Us. somebody. Yeah. Us so, deciding all right, who so we think is which. Go out the door. One, two, three. Oh, I thought you were gonna murder her. So I could have selected to act as an obstacle to her, uh, which would have made her have to spend two movement to move out of my space. Sure. That was part of the rules. I don't have anything against her yet. Here you go. All right, this last tile. I noticed the only person who's like everyone it's- should kill each other is Jesse. Because it's that's the pond. name of the game. <laughs> I found a pond. Sploosh. That is the goal of the game right now, is to find the witch. Okay, I want to outside. Find the witch. By killing people. That's this how you is, find the witch. This is outside, that's so right. Okay. <laughs> Blood. Blood on the ground. <clears throat> Something was attacked here. Roll two dice. This box is checked. Roll three, but it's not. Roll one. Mm-hmm. A rabbit animal bites you. Take one physical damage. Ooh. Now we have a rabbit witch. Ouch. Yeah, rabbit witch. One physical, either speed or might. Speed or might. Oh, it's got to be speed. My might's terrible. I've gone down to three. Ah, oh, these things. There. I'm three. And now I have to roll the sanity. Oh yeah, you didn't attack anybody. So this just gets buried, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And now I roll two. Just two one. Down. Oh, just one. What's that mean? Take one sanity damage. Mm-hmm. If we wait long enough, the witch, the witch's sanity will go down to where she would die, and she'll have to reveal herself uh, or die. That's fair. Let's see, so what do we do in the meantime? All right. Of course, the sa- uh, then I think we'll all be probably close to death. And sh- oh, that's but it's true. All physical also. damage, though. So just being close to death won't allow the wish to kill us because she can only attack us with knife. Phys- okay, well, I'm, I'm game for that. All right, it's just a bunch of attack. There's no more tiles. I mean, but why attack? Like it's he was Jesse's saying, turn. Just let the witch reveal or his, his or herself. And, um, but also, we could die in the process of waiting for her. Oh, because humans don't If you stop. don't attack, you have to roll the die. Yeah. Right. So if we don't attack each other, we have to die. <laughs> we, we cause ourselves to die. I think it's set up to make us force it. It's forcing our hand to attack each other, even if we don't want to. Well, let's chat about this. <laughs> Who, uh... Who's the most witchy here? Go for the old man! He does have the insane chalice. Mm hmm. He's got the insanity chalice! Go for the old man! And we're a bunch of kids. Yeah. 
So yeah. he's lived a life. It's a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's an ageism thing. Sorry. <laughs> Get him! Mommy always said, "Kill the old man." Kill the old man. Um, I do have a minor four. Well, great. Which is higher than two of you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, yeah. Ben. And I have intended to figure out what the hell these ghost things are. Yeah. Which may occur when somebody dies, so... Oh, 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 oh. That's true. Man. When someone dies, that's when the ghosts might get activated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it. Well, I want to see something happen, so I'm going to attack the old man, I guess. If we're all in a... So you're going to move here? One, yeah. Two. I mean, state your case. I mean, honestly, it's just a card saying what you are, so it's hard to do it. It's not like we're a wolf or someone has some evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Ben or Jesse. It's not Jesse, so I guess it's, it's Ben. Not, it's not Ben. I don't think it's Ben either. <laughs> doing stuff. I honestly think it's Ronald. I should just go I think, it, I think it is. I think it's It's Sarah. not Ronald. Well, then maybe it's Melissa. It's, it's Sarah. not me. It's not I, my nose. Face. I, I think, think it is. Face. I think it is Melissa. It is not. Well, it's Melissa, before we started, said, no. I don't want no, to be a traitor. It's I think it's Ronald. It's not. I'm not. Ronald suggested we wait till the sanity goes down. So either that is, like, he's... Yeah. Either he is... just to let people die Yeah, out. he's the one talking about, oh, let the Well, I mean, may, die, maybe that is truly what we should do. Or maybe he's trying to get us just to wait it out. Because mm. it benefits him. I'm over mm. here getting... I'm going to keep animals. track. You know, in, in BG stats, you can track people's role. So I'm going to track who's the traitor. So I'll have stats when we finish. So you're a witch for yourself? No, I don't know who, <laughs> I don't know who the traitor is this time. Great like, filled it in. It's like I already filled no. in this part, witch. But I am going to, when we find out who it is, I'm going to You are the, currently the weakest, too. You'd be the easiest kill. Uh, Melissa is also just, just the yeah. same as me. Actually, she's easier to kill than me. She only goes... I have three spaces before I get to the skull here. She has only just Fair, two. But if... Kill Melissa! <laughs> Lear, I'm going to put you back here until you decide what you want to do. Okay. Yeah, well, come, atta- come attack somebody. I mean, don't attack or somebody. don't attack somebody and just let it play I'll out. Thank you. Hey, little girl. Ben. Have you met Paul's claw hammer? <laughs> what I found. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? I saw you trip, so I'm going for you. Uh, make a might roll... Against another person no. in your tile. On the claw hammer. Oh, attack. Might. Target anyone on your tile, roll one additional die on your attack. If the attack rolls zero, destroy the hammer. I hope you roll a zero. So my might is currently four. Claw hammer raises it to five. You're attacking a little girl with a claw hammer. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit much? I'm six years old. <laughs> oh. All right. So that is... That's a lot more than zero. That is more than zero. That's eight. You know I'm bad with dice. <laughs> I can't believe you killed me already. But it's not nice. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. So you have a choice. <laughs> I can either lose uh, seven physical, or you can steal something from me. What you got? He's got. I have spectacles and the bucket. He got spectacles and a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> But if you uh, choose the the six damage, I'll be dead. I gotta find out. I gotta kill you. I gotta bludgeon this little I girl. Hope I, get, I hope I get something woods. amazing for being the first one to die. <laughs> so wait, what happens, with, well bucket. what happens with the well bucket? Is the well bucket okay? Die? Like oh, it's gonna to... just land in a pile. Oh, so I can I'm pick standing. it up later. Oh. <laughs> so why steal from me when I could just take it later? Yeah, but you don't have to kill me to avoid the sanity loss. Do it. I want to know. You just want to kill a little girl. I do. Who did you nothing. I want to know. He is the witch, you guys. Hello. Hey. Hey. Fuck your heels. I'll do it. Dewey fam, 1994. Hey, Dewey fam. Thank you for that follow. We hear you. I just killed a little girl, Dewey fam. <laughs> okay. But because she's possibly a witch. With so evil you demonic powers. Me. Yeah. Uh... Reveal your card to show if you're the witch or a normal witch, human. Here, right? why don't you read that out to everyone, Melissa? What does that say? Oh, normal. Oh, no, I made a mistake. Oh, you no. knew you did because you're the witch! Oh, no. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and mark Jesse as the witch. Okay, normal. Well, I mean, it's all, right. all speculation, right? Oh, no, <laughs> <I'm> human. <laughs> that sounds like something a witch would say. It's not me. Oh, Immediately oh, draw the 
uh, top card of the legacy deck. This is Joe. Okay, so what happens with this it's card? Not me. Keep this. Yeah, and just hold on to it. It's not me. Which one? The say. first time a character <laughs> dies, have their player secretly read the best. Secretly read the best. I wanted you to card. read something. The rest of the players can keep playing in the meantime. There you go. So Holy so mackerel! In the meantime, Joe. What is your turn, Joe? You're clearly crazy. Wait, wait, we need to do some more things oh, when I die. She needs to be like, laying down. Yes, that's the first thing. Oh, there goes the cat. <laughs> cats of, black cats are attracted to witches. Yep, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, tip your figure over and drop all your items, omens, and objects. You are now a corpse. Even if the traitor dies, as long as it's okay. So, there's some tiles that say item number or item pile or something. Yeah. So, Jesse, it's technically still your turn. Oh. So, you did attack me, but you could also do the uh, pick up action. I will. When in a room with an item pile token, take as many of the item or omen cards under the matched matching number item token as you like. You receive them used. Yes. So here's item pile two. You're going to pick it up. Bring it. So all these are going to be turned 90 degrees sideways to show that they are used. And now y'all can proceed. I recommend killing Jesse as soon as possible. Why? You, guys need, you like, guys need to team up on him, actually. Yes, no, cause like, no, because I'm not the witch. That's uh, the issue. I'm good. Then why did you just kill a little girl for nothing? Because I thought you were the witch. But what evidence did you have? I, you were almost dead. <laughs> you didn't have a fear of death. I even, put it that way. I even said to you, you don't have to kill me, you know, to avoid losing the sanity. He's like, I just want you to die. Oh, speaking of which, should I roll at the end of my turn? No, because you attacked someone. You attacked me. Oh, right. That's what I said. You don't have to kill me to avoid that. Oh. You said, no, I just want to see you bleed. Yeah, that's true. Little girl. Right. I've already seen blood. It's more exciting. <laughs> the pond. <laughs> so, yeah, you can Sarah or Judas? Judas? Well, clearly Judas oh, never betrayed Judas. anybody. <laughs> I mean, did you not just see him kill a little girl with yeah, a ball hammer? I'm kidding. I'm going. Oh. I'm attacking Judas. That's a mistake. And you'll know it's a mistake when you read my card. I don't think it's Melissa, so I guess it's you. I thought it was it's wrong. Not me. No. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to tag like Judas. No, I am You become a better normal. liar. <laughs> normal. Tag Judas. Can so I roll four? So um, I have might have four. Yeah, that's a might. Pass me some dice. What's that? Oh, four. A four. And now what am I rolling for my might? Mm-hmm. And it's not with the item, huh? Speaking of which, I guess that was attack. Though. That was used to know. Got it. All right, here we go. Six. So do I punch you back? That's how it works in the other one. I don't know how it works in this one. What did you each roll? You rolled roll four. I rolled a six. You would hit Joe for two, or you can steal from him. I'm gonna hit Joe for two. All right. What are they? I'm gonna take two physical damage, which is either speed Might or, or speed. speed. So Melissa, it's, I mean, you're your own judge and jury. You got to decide who is you want to Are you done with your turn? Oh, yes, no. Yes. Okay, so in that case, it says right here. Um, once there is a break in the action, share new rules with the other players. They aren't secret. A break in the action. What the heck does this mean? Didn't it say whenever I died to reveal who I was? Yeah. It Show did. if you were the witch or a normal human. You did. Once there's a break in the action, share these rules with the other players. Mm -hmm. They aren't secret, but keep that no witch part to yourself until a game end. What? No witch part? No idea what that means. It may, it may mean if you're not the Oh, player. I got it. Then I'm... Sorry. I'm an idiot. Explain then. <laughs> I'll explain later. Oh, that's frustrating. No! <laughs> rubbish! What a bunch of rubbish. Right, put the ghost 
about to go to the thing now. Ghost. Oh, I get it. I'm not saying anything. Gotcha. <laughs> I think I get it. Oh, oh, so the ghosts. Every time a player dies, place a ghost sticker in an empty spot on that tile. If all the spots in that tile are already filled, do nothing. If you run out of stickers and need to place one, do nothing. Alright, so in one of these spots goes a ghost. Oh, so technically would that have already been there? So you could have used your ghost thingy, my bob? Yeah, it's kind of late. Well, I wouldn't have done it because it's, it's it's only roll one die per ghost thing. Oh, a ghost is there. And if you get a zero or... You get you lose one from every trade. <laughs> oh, so it's yeah, like, that was not. That's not a good, not a good roll. All right, my turn. Yep, roll in there. Sure. Hit Judas. Judas. Why Judas? Gotta get on Joe. He's the weakest. I said just kill the weakest person. You can kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a lot harder than he does. No, you're not. Sure you, you used your hammer already. Yep. It'll untap on my turn. How oh, it does? Yeah. On his All turn, right. it untaps. Yeah. That's why you gotta take him out. It's so gonna take, take, take both of us. Yeah, you're gonna attack him right now, and he won't be able to use the. He can't use the hammer to attack. Yeah, you can do it now. So hit before. Pass me dice. Five. You know I rolled very well, right? I rolled a five. Come on, zero. That's a six. Oh, rush. Unless I take one damage. Took a damage. I guess I'm taking it on might. And now you gotta deal with me. Oh lord. You're done? I, I believe so. I can't right. you can only take one action if it's an attack, sure. right? Like one attack, but you could do some of the other actions. I mean there's nothing to pick up. Well, I have a well bucket, but I'm not hurt, so guess I'll attack this little girl right here. What? I was only defending myself! Well, honestly, I should be attacking him. He is... Oh, wait, you're one, two, one, two. One, two, three... He's yeah. one away from me. Mike's removing the mic down, right? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna attack, uh... I, no, I, wasn't, against, I wasn't gonna run uh, anywhere, so I moved up. Even that didn't hurt me. Can kill, uh, I mean, attack, You really uh, think he's a witch? I'm not a witch. Okay. I'm Melissa. not a witch. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'll take Melissa. No. We're gonna load up the, the ghost. Oh, you got lucky. I rolled a one. Oh. Okay, good. Here's my chance. Here's your chance to kill me. Okay, come on. So roll an eight, and I'll be dead. No, I won't be dead. I'll be Which, close. What did he roll? He rolled oh, a one. One, one out of five. Why? Right. How many she rolling? Oh, four. four of them. Why? Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh my mic went down. Two. Two. Oh boys. <laughs> You can still hit him for three. You roll double twos. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually rolled one too many that last time because my thing was one, down at three two, and I rolled four die. But I still have one of the die came three. up blank, so it's okay. Oh my gosh. These things are stiff. Three. And then uh, I'm going to drink from this bucket. Heal one trait, check a box, then bury this card. I'm gonna heal my. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for speed. Alright, Joe. Your turn. I'm attacking Judas. Attack! He's gonna let fire! Why would you attack her? Because she'd be easier to kill once you're dead. Oh, no! Alright, fair. The, um... <laughs> and plus, I like that hammer. I want that hammer. I'll go, like go with my chalice. <laughs> oh, you could use your chalice also. I know, but it's just one right now, right? Yeah, one yeah, goes. One. Yeah, it's not, it's two. Not good odds. Oh, okay. Right, I mean, the die can only go up to two. Yeah, I don't know what your card says, so I have no idea what all of it is. Bring it. Yeah, the only, the be- benefit that happens at two. Two plus, four plus is really good. So it's not worth doing that. Let it roll! I don't know. Three. Four. Do I have to take one damage? Pretty bad at the fighting thing. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't have old, to lose any sanity. He's an old I'm man. A, what do you expect? I mean, look. Agile you're little child. Agile little, yeah, with a, with a big old you torch in front of you. Like, the torch. Get away from the fire. I mean, that's all I can do right I now. can't use it as a weapon. Or you can move. 
So, Ronald, what do you do on your turn? Nothing. I don't have a no. turn. I'm out of the game. So, it'll be Melissa's turn. I can run away, but what is it? Little man. Team, ch- team kids for life. Okay. There's no more tiles to discover. There's no way to draw yeah. more cards. You could go over to the drink to drink out of the river, the creek, and get speed, but that doesn't really help you. Melissa? Team kids. Team kids. Who are you attacking? Hmm. Oh, the old man would be an easier kill. Honestly, it works on your favorite too, because I'll also attack the old man. If he dies, then you get the first shot on me. If you attack him, I attack him. Hopefully you got a lot dead. more. Like you have one, two. I'm pretty hurt. Yeah. No, you can move your other speed. thing speed like a lot. Mm. One, two, three. I mean, four, five. He's still a little man. Out. He's not one of us. One of us. One of I mean, us. A child. <laughs> yeah. So, look what he did the no, other child. No, I need to get <laughs> you down more. Oh. And I only get two die. So my might's only at two. When you're rolling against me, it was a four. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's gonna roll four back. He's only gonna roll three back. Yeah. But then if you I'm if, if, if I'm gone, him. then he's gonna kill you. Then. Man, that's yeah. And what is he gonna do? <laughs> but I'm mean much weaker. Oh. If, if you kill the witch, then you don't have to worry about this anymore. Mm. But I don't know who's the witch. They're both being very deceptive, and I'm not the witch, so I don't know. Well, who killed Ronald and he wasn't the witch? Valid. Oh, that's true. Judas it is. Come on, more double twos. More double twos. Three. Three. Who are you talking? You. Oh, me? Take me three back. Eight. Well, six. Well, that's a, you're going to have to take... Uh-oh. Three damage. I don't have three damage. One, two... I did. You're dead. I'm dead. Dead, dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Might. One. Did you get a ghost sticker? Oh. <laughs> you get a ghost sticker. Yeah, I'm dead. These are going to be some haunted woods. <laughs> some haunted woods and a ghost sticker there. There was already a, a hand sticking out of them with, with <laughs> yeah. the bucket. Yeah, everyone died in the spot. skeleton stick with the bucket. All right, Joe, I'm coming at you with my claw. Why, though? <laughs> we get along. Because. I don't have anything oh, yeah. in witches. We should reveal her hot card first. Oh, yeah, because if she's the witch, yeah. y'all won. She's not, though. Not the witch. No. No, he knows she's not, because he is. He's the witch. Nope. Go. Going down. Six. Six. How many do you need? Three? Three. That's your roll. These crazy high rolls of yours. He's very Super good with dice. Power. And look at his <laughs> mic on his card. Yeah, it's all He's going to be OP every single time. Oh, ah! no. <laughs> oh, no, you're Those dead. Those are blanks. Looks like you're also dead. You are dead. Unless you want to steal his chalice. No, I want to kill him. Okay. I think I get to read a card, right? That's why I want to do One, this. <laughs> two, three. Joe, um, I'm, we're going to put your sticker on for you. These are some very Poor haunted ben. ones. Can you please reveal your hot card there? And I'm the witch. No, I'm not the witch. Not uh, the witch. Normal human. Mm-hmm. What if sounds, it turns out that we were all Sounds the witch about and... right. I think Jesse already figured it out. I guess I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yes. no, I didn't. edit that part. Oh, well, all of you did? I'm going to edit that part. I didn't get it. I still don't. See. Well, read it now as if. I was like, what? I edited it now. I was like, oh. Yeah. Um, so you're the last player alive. Yes, I am. Uh, so that means you win. So turn to entry 117 in the bleak Should I reveal journal. this? It doesn't say to. Okay, I guess we won't. You will in a minute, probably. Okay, probably. So 117. 117. Let, let Jesse read it. Oh, there we go. There you go. 117. Stop reading my notes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, if you're the last player alive and the witch... Draw a card P279 from the Purgatory deck and add your family crest to it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I am not the witch. I love that they put that in there, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. You didn't figure that out? What? There was no witch. We there was were, no witch? There was no witch. No, we were all the witch. We were all just a We were all people. just a eagle. 
Oh. What a weird way to word it, though. <laughs> what you read? Yeah. Uh, I read all of this and did not retain what it said. Oh. Oh, so it clearly explained it. In uh-huh. The <laughs> so that really is your fault. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I was trying to hurry before I got back around to my turn to, like, get all this stuff done, and I read it very quickly. I don't usually have a Wait, problem so with retention of knowledge. Right, that's pretty no short. Witches. Sure. No witches. They put us all just against one At least someone's surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read this, and if it doesn't explain it, I'll explain it. This place is mine now, so it seems. So, there was no witch after all. (sighs) Strange how we all believe there was. Ah, well, no matter. The fields have been fertilized. I have disposed of the bodies. Home is where the hearts are. Let us hope the dead stay buried. Players should now give their family a last name, writing it on the ribbon on the front of their family cards. Right, yeah. Each player should record their character's fate on the back of their family card. Remember, this is for flavor only. Have fun with it. So record how you died. Bludgeoned by hammer or whatever. Or you can write, you know, found found a a pail sticking out of the ground by a skeletal hand, and then got clawed to death. And then everything went black. By a fifteen year old, <laughs> you know, whatever. Just make the story interesting. I was not accustomed to so much digging, and grew weary at near the end. I hope the bodies are buried deep enough. Add shallow graves, P two o one to the event deck for future games. Adding or intensifying event cards happens at the end of each game. Finally, the deed to the house, P202. Find that and place it. Place the winner's crest sticker on the front of it. What was the first number? Uh, P201 and the second one's P202. So P201 is being added to the deck, uh-huh. the event deck. P202, we need to add your sticker to, yeah. which is the red. And place the winner's crest on the front of it in the prologue space. Each game's winner will claim the deed going forward. For the moment, it is yours. You own the house. You're going to take the first turn at the start of the game. On your turn, you can return this card to the box and spend a move to place your figure on any discovered tile. Right. Normal so obstacle there. penalties apply. <laughs> you have built tunnels and passages most secret and cunning. This card is not an item or an object. If you die, return it to the box. Mm. So that's for you. My house. I just had to kill three people for it. No big deal. The woods. <laughs> I regret that. What? Haunted Woods we have now. Let's see, what shall my family be? So yeah, be? this thing said, um, something calls you downward, something long asleep and so, so hungry. Your soul is pulled through a chasm, through a land made of ice, a world of giants, a forgotten city, a rainbow, then down through fire and finally into utter darkness. You can see why I was just like, okay, I got the flavor of this. Oh, right, right. Now you realize the truth. There was no witch. You were all driven mad by some dark power. You know because that power is now is here with you, pressing against you in the pitch black. You start to rise, back up through the other world, back to the world you knew in life. You are bound to this homestead. One more ghost to haunt its grounds. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, we got some ghostly woods right there. These are very haunted woods. Yep. So that is the um, prologue. Prologue. That's it for the prologue. So we can have your haunt card now. My haunt card? Yeah. It's that witch. Okay. <laughs> witch. <laughs> yeah. What so about item those. cards? Um, I think those are gonna go back. Okay. For the little um, yeah, I think that's all gonna go back. So that's the prologue. So yeah. 
close out this. Come on back for uh, the next episode, episode one. We're doing it right now, but maybe you're watching this on YouTube. So you'll click over there. And until next time, the box is closed. <laughs>